from your home screen you're going to go over to the settings tab once you're in the settings tab you're going to scroll down to where it says remote and accessories and from there you want to click on air tv and once you get there you can go to change tv setup or you can scroll down to audio setup to set up a soundbar or whatnot so at this point it's going to scan for available devices now when it scans for devices it's going to scan for pretty much smart tvs so if you're not using a smart tv it won't show up on the list so you're going to go to change tv now once you get here you can select from a popular brand if your brand is not up there you can simply scroll down and then manually type in your brand and this has a, a pretty extensive library of tv codes so your tv brand should be in there and fyi a lot of brands a lot of these cheap brands are made by rca so for example seki will work with rca code so at this point you go just going to follow the on-screen prompts when you press ok the remote controller is going to automatically test the volume for you so you don't have to press the volume button on your remote and you just keep going through the prompts if it works you're going to select yes if it doesn't just keep going to try again and once you're all set you're going to select yes and from there you're going to select finish and then you're pretty much all set now with the air tv remote it will not power your tv off and on it will only control the volume options so you have your volume up and down and then your mute option so that is it folks i will see you next time for another tutorial on the air tv mini